walkthrough of the Sears catalog. And this is from, as you can see right there, 1993 Spring and Summer Annual. And this is rather thick. It's a lot thicker than the holiday uh, Sears catalog we looked at earlier. So to kick things off, I want to like uh, do a little uh, uh, appetizer per se and uh, show you a few things I found in the toy box at my childhood home before we get into the catalog. So this is from Street Sharks. It's a toy line from back in the 90s. Big Slamu is this guy's name. He lift his arm up and boom, boom. Boom. Uh, yeah, this one's just really cool looking. And there you pull back on the fin, you can do this. The packaging of uh, the Street Sharks toys. What's good? Hey, Scruffy Nerf Herder. Uh, things are great, man. Just chilling, you know. You know how I do here in small town USA. Not much to do but look at an old Sears catalog. <laughs> so, But no, yeah, things are good, man. Hopefully everything's good on your end. Uh, so Big Slamu, found that one. This is, uh, you know, a Jurassic Park uh, figure from back in the 90s as well. I remember getting this at Target back uh, in 1993. Uh, you could, as you could see right there, if I could focus on, on this, oh, I can't, can I, can I, can I? Uh, there's a hole right there. You could just dip his mouth into uh, the water, and there's like a little bladder inside here. Yeah, those things are beautiful. The packaging, everything. Like trying to buy a Street Sharks figure in the package now, it's like, shh, just forget it. You're paying 200, 300 bucks now. Um, but yeah, I got this one uh, when JP Jurassic Park first came out. Oh, there's something I didn't, oh, you can't really move his arms. I did get the deluxe version of this too, where you could put like the fins around his things whenever he'd like, you know, start shooting his snot at uh what's his face the big uh big guy from seinfeld newman <laughs> and here is uh krang in his android body in a uh, small form i remember having the huge deluxe one too as a kid but they wound up making a small uh ninja turtles uh size action figure version of him which is this right here um, I think this is actually my brother's, but I found it in my toy box at my old childhood home. So, uh, you know what? Finders keepers. <laughs> That's how we still do things back as uh, adults, even as kids. That crane is worth some money. Yeah, uh, this one is worth a little bit. I actually have this same action figure in the package, too. Um, I, I plan at some point when I have the time to uh, break out all the boxes of uh, packaged collectible toys and go through them that would be so much fun to do that's going to be a badass video to get into but uh the big krang android body i remember getting that at um it was children's toy palace or something like that back in the day i remember i was like four years old and just busted that thing open before we got into the parking lot you know just right as the cashier rang us out it was just like it's time it's go time um but that, yeah, that thing was huge. Uh, lost all the pieces to it. But you know, hey, that's a childhood worth a uh, well, good, good spent. Can't get my words right. But anyways, yeah, these are some pretty cool toys from this era of 1993. And uh, let's just put these boys off to the side. Maybe we'll set them right there. No, nope, he's not gonna stand. He's not gonna stand. There you go. All right. Anyways, let's let's get into this. So like I said, this is a big fat catalog and we are going to take our sweet ass time looking into this because uh, there is so much juiciness within these pages so much nostalgia should we say good or bad usually nostalgia is tied to good things but sometimes it's uh, tied to bad things such as like I don't know the overalls or something Osh, gosh, bagosh, let me move the camera a little bit more. Okay, so back in the day, with all this paper, it cost $5, okay? And like I said, this is the spring-summer annual, so this isn't necessarily going to be like a full holiday toy catalog, but just a good, solid look as to what 1993 had to offer for all the uh, products 
that at least Sears was selling at the time. I skipped playing the Xbox for this nostalgia trip. Oh man, all right, well, I'll make it worth your while, trust me. I'm also skipping uh, playing with a new cat I got down there, so it's a, uh, but you gotta, you gotta manage your time, man. So let's get in here. Open this up. What do we got? At Sears, we believe the good things in life shouldn't be hard to come by. That's why our policy is simple. We offer you a wide selection of basics, brand names you know and trust, real quality, and low prices this year. We think you'll find the results more exciting than ever. Welcome to our big book, Sears 1993. Okay. You could charge it. You can take a look at that, charge it. It's the American way. So the contents we've got here, we've got women's, they come first, then children's, and then men's, home fashions, home improvement. Look at that, dude. You know he gets all the chicks. He's, he's got himself a Bowflex body. Yeah, I'm 50 years old. I play in a rock band. Bowflex keeps me in shape. Uh, we've got the most high-tech entertainment recording software and accessories we've got electronics and that dishwasher that Kenmore boy I'll tell you what tools for dad oh hell yes we got it all <laughs> letter K uh, we fit you better than ever so all the different types right there we got the Mrs. Tall Mrs. Petite and just the women's. We've added more hard to find sizes. You know what? I'm a very, very short man. Still to this day, I cannot find a pair of pants to fit me worth a shit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's tragic, but I have found one place online that could uh, find a pair of pants that does fit me and actually uh, make me look like I'm not swimming in uh, daddy's uh, big jeans and here we are this is uh newport news she is in maine just walking with her button down skirt here uh we've got those sunglasses are pretty rocking pretty sweet over here oh these this, this is called the naturals line okay every guy every guy out there watching the naturals line and uh yeah so we got the leopard che uh, peta, cheetah, leopard cheetah print. Okay, we got Indiana Jones there. Nice. She looks pissed. Like you, <laughs> like you haven't called her back after that one wild night. All right, Barbie girl. These are very modest clothes. I appreciate that. Got the belts here. These big baggy shorts. She looks like she played volleyball. I don't know why. She just looks like she played volleyball. Women's jeans. More jeans. I think I had a shirt like that. The T. V neck. Sleevesless or crew in cotton interlock. Save five dollars, okay? Let's see here. Denim, redefined. Knit pull-ons. Sweaters you live in. If anybody's planning on buying anything from here, just let me know. Just, I'll pause. You can take a look. If you want to go back in time and order this, or you can... Go to your local thrift shop and find these in the clearance bin. Ah, yeah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this, too. <laughs> Rendezvous in Paris. <laughs> this dude's looking like, I love you so much, baby. Baby, come here. Baby, I love you. <laughs> Pop some tags on those swimsuits. I'm popping tags. $20 in my pocket. 
All right, we got Dick Tracy here. We got uh, the mask, Jim Carrey style. The women's fitting room. All this stuff that my brain can't, I can't wrap my brain around any of that. Nor do I want to. It's a nice classic look. I like that. We got jewelry. For the special Linda or Karen in your life. Very vibrant colors. Now everything is like a, uh, you know, like a nude color or a beige or whatever. That's what I appreciated at least about the 90s, you know. Look at that. A little, what is that, a coin purse just hanging from her chin? Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. You do you. All right. Oh, good Lord. Look at this. Let me pull up my sleeve there. Yeah, it's just straight from the 90s, bro. We're still in the women's. Up. Oh, let's just keep going here. All right. Any guys out there, if you saw a woman wearing, I don't know, that, what would you think? You know, what are you wearing? Something you know, that's hanging from your window. We got some old classic pocket watches. Some old grandpa. What do we got here? We got class of 1993. I love you, mom. Special sister. Extra special. That's what I would give. Get opt for that extra special pendant. We've got Mickey Mouse watches here. We're getting to the more cooler stuff here. I swear to God, I think these Mickey Mouse watches with the hands, their hands going around the dial, I mean, those are never going to go out of style. We've got some kitten heels. How do I know what kitten heels are? Well, I've been schooled on that. Kitten heels are smaller heels than regular high heels. All right, what is it? BK, British Knights. I never heard of that brand in my entire life. There's LA Gear. Oh, dude. I remember when I had some LA Gears when I was a kid. You could stomp on the ground and they'd light up. There'd be little lights on the back. They're so cool. Got some luggage. Luggage, Steve Martin, John Candy, plane trains, and automobile style. Okay. This would be the pages I would go through when nothing else was available. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got a lot of knickers here. Knickers and bras and all right, okay, there we go. We've got a lot of granny panties, all right, very nice. What are what is this? Classic prosthesis. Medical silicone prosthesis duplicate weight feel of natural breast. Unique shapes designed to meet needs of simple modified. Okay. Oh, okay. Looks like some chicken breasts I just bought at the market today. All right. Here we go. Yeah, look out, Nicki Minaj. Pantyhose, all right, okay. Oh God. You know, I was looking on uh, Nickelodeon like uh, the other day, like old school episodes on YouTube, and I came across that old show, Figure It Out. And uh, there's one uh, the, if you don't know what figure it out is, it's like a uh, a kid has a special talent or whatever, and 
four people have to guess what the special talent is to, by the blanks on the board or whatever. And one of the kids' special talent was that she could have the dog drink milk out of her mouth. And it's wild that that was, that was shown on TV. Like, that isn't a talent. That is just something so surreal that I thought would never be, like, it's crazy. What was another one? Some other uh, kid, uh, like, he designed this washcloth that had a little pocket in it that you could put a bar of soap in and it would lather up or whatever, which actually I thought was pretty genius. But I was looking, I, there was like a database to be just search, figure it out shows and like see what all, uh, like how every show was and the kids' special talent. Like a lot of it was just, it wasn't really that big of a deal at all. But I remember back then I was thinking, whoa, I can get famous just by the lawn. But, uh, oh God, here we go. Yeah, figure it out was pretty cool though, regardless. There you go. You're looking sharp. Camping trip. There we go. Look at that. You get yourself a shirt with a, uh, what is this? New Line Boys. Get you a shirt with a inline skate on it. Okay, all right. If you're thinking about having kids and you want them to be the coolest in school, this is what you buy, okay, everybody? This is what you do. You buy this atrocious dress with these bows. I don't know why they're there, but yeah, you do that. There's this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. God, I remember these so much. They'd be walking down the hall. They need a fanny pack to go with it. Oh yeah, man. Fanny packs, yeah. It's just... Don't be sleeping on them fanny packs, dude. You can put all kinds of stuff. You got your yak back. You can put your Avon bubblegum flavor lip balm in there. Yeah. Hey, I remember you. Jordash. There we go. That's the brand we all knew and loved back in the day. This dude has a cake. All right, kid. This is what I want you to do for this photo shoot. Put up a cake and just smile. Look very happy. You're holding this whole cake. Why am I holding the cake? I don't know. Just do it. It'd be cool for the catalog. Okay. All right, now just imagine you're on the back nine. Okay. Oh yeah, these denim with the sleeves, that would be just a sweat, sweatshirt, sweatshirt sleeves, denim chest. Oh God, this dude looks pissed. <laughs> Dude's got a big old head. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then we get into the sportswear. I think I actually had this shirt back in the day. It's these wild colors. Red, blue, yellow, just whatever. Anything goes in the 90s. Here we got the San Jose Sharks, Chicago Bulls. Sorry about that, guys. Don't want to get you seasick bumping into the tripod, but here we go. Here we got the men's here. Nice button-down shirt. He's got some slacks on him. So let's get yourself some nice slacks. This dude's probably a grandpa right now. Oakton Limited.
These guys look like they're about to be in a very nice embrace. There you go. These guys just got done holding hands right here. They're pretending they weren't. Now here is Mega Chad right here. This is Chad all the way. All right, so what, what are the names of these guys? I want to guess. Okay, this guy's probably, I don't know, he looks like a Gordon. A Gordon? This guy's like a Ralph. That's a, that's a Ralph name, right? Yeah, it's a Ralph face if I've ever seen one. This one's kind of like a, I don't know, what are, you, what are you guys thinking? It looks like a, maybe a Drew? Yeah, a Drew? This dude right here, his name is like, probably like Ed. Edward. Going right through here. Ultra Fleece, Maximum Sweats. Hey, hey, he's playing Steal the Bacon. Hey, ho, ho. He does look like Daniel Stern from Home Alone. Now listen here, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you all about how to lay bricks right. <laughs> okay, this dude, I don't know. He's having too much fun with his hands in his pockets. I remember when I worked at this restaurant. It was like a family-owned restaurant when I was like 16, 15 or 16. And uh, <laughs> this guy looks cool as hell. <laughs> So I was 15 or 16 working at this uh, restaurant, and after bussing tables, you know, I'd sometimes have to dishwash or whatever, but in the times when there weren't like any, uh, anybody eating and it was downtime in the restaurant, I just kind of stand there and put my hands in my pocket, and uh, the old man that owned the place, uh, he was horrible. Uh, he, he would come in sometimes with his wife and uh, his wife would get mad because I wouldn't say hi to her. Like everyone would expect, they would expect all the workers there to like go over the top saying hi to them. Like, uh oh, the boss and his wife are here. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Yeah, and if you didn't do that, oh no, they are gonna be pissed. And uh, so I'm standing there with my hands in my pocket because, you know, downtime at the restaurant, and the owner comes up to me, and he's like, hey, take, take your hands out of your pocket. It looks like you're playing with yourself. And I'm like, uh, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. But uh, I guess he was kind of right, yeah. There we go. Making big plans. American original. Made in America. Oh, that looks like a meme now. I know they're trying to like be serious, but all these shirts look like memes. Cool. I'd buy one. I, this is all workwear here. Long haul. I don't know if that's a brand anymore. Oh, here we go. These kind of boots never go out of style. Very nice. Wonderlight. Business. Stock. Suits. Sears Best. All right. We got the ties, got the slacks, flex slacks, flex slacks. How much were these going for? We got 
for huskier builds, fuller fit and seat, legs and thigh. This guy is looking off in the distance, wondering where everything went wrong. But by God, at least he has an office. And it's a corner office at that, with plenty of windows to look out into the world and ponder his next big contract. Wearing all these ties from Sears. All right. Don't need to see that. Don't need to see that either. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. I will continue. More choices. Oh, okay. So they had like different catalogs for everything. I didn't even know that. They had an automotive mobile home Sears catalog. Now that would be something I'd want to look into. Big and tall. They got the toys, the health, workwear. Yeah. Wow, the damn. There you go. Order right there. All that maintenance and agreement. So what did Sears offer back in the day? They had a uh, complete and repair patents, taking care of business, repair parts, in-shop repair service, installation. She could use her big hair to help install things as well. Her hair does half the job. Oh, now we got the beds. Oh, yeah. Yep. Grandma's sheets and comforters here when you stay over reluctantly. Yep. I do like these like country, country bedroom house style setups. Looks very nice. Those are frill pillows. Man, oh man. Well, you got to get the matching curtains with the matching sheets and the matching nightstand tablecloth. You know that, right? You got to. Otherwise, it's just things. A great American farm. Yeah, I wish. I don't know if that's a brand or not, but I mean, dear God, it's, it, this looks like Kevin McAllister's parents' bedroom or something. That's what it looks like. Um, a fun fact about um, Home Alone is if you look at the wallpaper and everything inside the McAllister house in Home Alone, they intentionally made everything look either green or red to like, kind of subliminally let everyone watching know that, hey, it's Christmas time or whatever, as if they haven't pounded the idea in your head that it happens around Christmas inside the Kevin McAllister home. Yeah, from the wallpaper, the furniture, whatever, they intentionally put those two colors in there. One way or another in the designs and what have you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, having gotten married this past year, um, I've learned a lot about, put on your Sunday best, kids. We're going to Sears. Yeah. You know, um, at the mall we, we used to go to, and my dad and everything, uh, and there'd be Dillard's, J.C. Penney, what have you. We always went through the Sears way. Yeah, Sears were the best. And like, I remember Black Friday sales back in the day. Oh, they aren't like how they are now. Like now it's just pitiful. But I remember back in the 90s, waiting outside Black Friday, just freezing your butt off at like 4 a.m. Like you get up super early because there were actual deals then. And I remember Sears, I don't, I don't know when they started it and when they ended it. Like it, it lasted probably like at the late 90s or... It started in the late 90s, early 2000s, up until like, I don't know, 2008, 2009. But whenever Black Friday sales, you go through Sears, like whoever, the, like until they ran out, maybe the first 3,000 people, you would get uh, Disney-themed snow globes. 
So it'd be like a, it would be Mickey Mouse, no doubt, every single time. But it, Mickey Mouse would be in a different, you know, look or whatever every single time. So like, I got quite a bit of those snow globes just packed away. You know, they're probably not worth anything, but still, it's just a nice little thing I've kept over the years. Here we got the place uh, for the class clown to sleep. We got the ships for uh, some some really cool guy named Gordon. Here for all the geeks in there. You got a nice little set for them. Uh, we got the NASCAR. We've got the, what is this? This is the sports. Look at that. Clip art sports print everywhere. Nothing but clip art. The basic things you could find on Windows Print Studio. My brother had this with the baseball cards. This is touchdown in the Unsolved Mysteries font. And of course you got the NASCAR. The good old NASCAR. Still the king. What is this? We got some more stuff here. This is oh, for the nautical fan. The kid that's uh, your, your nautical fan. We've got sports cars and bowls. That's a nice little mix up. We got more cars. That's a cute little setup actually. Oh, the tools for the future construction worker in your life. Uh, rocket ships. A little choo-choo train set up. Oh, we got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. We've got the dinosaurs. Gotta have the dinosaurs. I will admit, I had dinosaur curtains in my childhood bedroom. They weren't as kid-like like this, but uh, I did have dinosaur curtains in my bedroom. They're probably still there uh, to this day. You know, I was never one of those kids where it's like I hit 13 and be like, no, all this stuff is kid stuff. I need n new stuff. It was just like, it's a curtain. <laughs> I don't care what's on it. It's a curtain. I could get the sunlight out of my eyes when I'm trying to sleep in the daytime. See if I care. It was either that or it's like I never even liked buying new clothes. Like I never was on that thing where it's like I need, I need the Nike shirt to look cool at school. I need it. It was just like, all right, here's your clothes we found at, you know, the dollar store or the yard sale and you're wearing that. Okay, cool. At least I got clothes. I know some people, it's like they live or die. It's like something has to be name brand for them to wear it. Okay, yeah. Uh, this takes me back to just staying at my grandma's house. What is this? What are we trying to do here with this tub? <laughs> that is the most tackiest shit I have ever seen in my life. It's like, are we going to bed? Are we jumping out of a window? What are we doing here exactly? Oh, we're taking a bath? I would have never guessed that, but all right. Same, what is that? Never in my life have I ever gone into someone's bathroom and seen that. Lace trimmed friendship plaid shower coordinates include bustle valance with lace trim. Double shower curtain valance. God, so stupid. You know, it's uh, hindsight's 2020. You look back in the 90s and just think of the good stuff, but really when you look at the evidence, it's almost kind of like, uh, kind of glad we're not back in that time. It's like, well, what are we trying to do here? What is this a spring setup? Just a, I know this is all just decorative stuff for the catalog or whatever, but come on, make it look a little lifelike so you, the person can imagine what it would exactly look like in their house. What is this? We got some floral shower curtains. I remember when I first moved into my, uh, that colored pencil blanket is badass, bud. Hey, don't get me wrong, okay? Do not get me wrong. 
I was a nerd growing up. I mean, there's pictures I have in my videos to prove it. I, I wore glasses. Um, I wasn't good at sports. Not like I cared that I wasn't good at sports. And I was in a lot of art classes. I could definitely draw. Uh, I got uh, plenty of uh, technique and graphic design skills behind me. And I do enjoy my color pencils. But at the same time, I don't know about them colored pencils. I think the colored pencils stay in the art class. And uh, I'm trying to think, what blankets did I exactly have as a kid? Uh, maybe I had, I know I had a Ninja Turtle sleeping bag. I had that. I had a real Ghostbuster sleeping bag at one point. Then I think after that, I just had like a, just a plain blue comforter. I remember my dad, you know, he'd work on cars. He had snap-on tools. And uh, I think every once in a while, he'd buy like snap-on mugs that would have like these pinup girls on them. And after a certain point, he just gave them to me. So I'd have these snap-on pinup girl mugs from like the 80s lined up on, the, on, my, <laughs> on my bed, headboard on my bed pretty cool this is like early 2000s what do I have hung up I have all of these snap-on pinup girl calendars from 1987 put up all around my room 87 88 89 I got this toilet this toilet's pretty cool I was at Menards the other day I had the real Ghostbusters sleeping bag. I had Goosebumps bed sheets when I was 15. Girls, yeah, dude. I mean, that's that's badass stuff. Like, people uh, get this idea that you should be plain and boring once you hit a certain age because other people won't like it. But I, obviously, I think with our generation, for sure, it's not like that at all. I think it's cooler that you actually stay true to what you really like. And, you know, some people just grow out of it or whatever. But, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Oh, okay. What is this, 1989 Batman? Very cool, though. What is this? You could build a sauna? Now, that is actually pretty sweet. $3,200. For 1992, that is... That's doctors and lawyer uh, salary money right there. Got the spa there. Oh, well, here's a tip too as well. If you're gonna put a jacuzzi in your um, bathroom, get it like a big jacuzzi tub. Like, hey, what's up, Roman Clips? How you doing, bud? If you're gonna put a jacuzzi tub in your bathroom, I can't find it now, but make sure you get a water heater that, is, that can actually keep up with the hot uh, water coming through because uh, the water heater that you may have prior to putting in the jacuzzi tub may not keep up. And uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to install it accordingly. I learned that the hard way. But if you're not gonna wanna put a jacuzzi tub in your house, in your bed bedroom, then you don't have to worry about that. Okay, we got these blinds, collect hella dust. For sure. All right, these two right here, this is a couple. They're in the middle of fighting. Jane, I want a divorce. Uh, over my dead body. Why don't you sit down, have this tea? Come on, just have the tea. Come on, yeah, yeah, just drink it. Just drink it, come on. I ain't leaving until you drink that cup of tea. Josh, Josh, have that cup of tea. All right, we got a chair from the Titanic wreckage. Very nice. All the rods and, oh God. That's just where that I'd be trying to sell candy to from the school. Ugh, all this lace.
God. None of this is good. Everybody would be just looking through the Sears catalog going, well, I guess I'm putting nothing in my house. That's what I would say. And it's like, what are you decorating a cake here? You know what, those aren't, eh, I don't like that trim up there. I don't, I don't, it, see, this ain't bad, I guess. This is okay. It's tolerable. It's tolerable. You know, I'm, I moved into a house that was uh, Italian themed, all right? So like the person beforehand like painted everything like a pea green like a pea soup green. And I guess it looked decent, maybe, in the right spirit, but over this past uh, year, I've been painting everything just white. Just, you know, because it just goes with uh, anything and, you know, makes the room a lot more brighter. Now, this is a, something I really need. Eh, not too much of this. This is 1994. It's, uh, this is, uh, because these rugs right here are contestant from supermarket sweeps house rugs. Now this, uh, yeah, I would I would love to have something like this just in the house. Maybe up here, this style there, or maybe one of these. And we got some nice mirrors. Take your pick. I don't know. It's like some of them look too bougie and too, uh, got some clocks here. Oh God. Yes. My parents had this in their house. I remember my brother, he was still pretty young. He would pull on these pine cones and, uh, I don't know what they did. They were attached to the, uh, this chain or whatever. And I don't know, but it would always mess up the clock in some way. But anyways, I know we had a lamp like this somewhere too. I want, I, oh yeah, okay. So I got a story about one of these lamps. We had one sitting um, in the house and I had this glow in the dark toy. I don't know what it was exactly, but I was thinking uh, I'm gonna charge it up really, really uh, a lot and make it glow a lot by putting it right in this live stream. I'm gonna record it so I could, uh, edit it and uh, I will put it up hopefully tomorrow hopefully so uh, yeah I'll be doing that soon but uh, the the toy here I, I put it on there hoping it glow in the dark and I walked away totally forgot about it and came back and the toy was melted so <laughs> that's my story about those lamps uh, okay we got some pretzel twist uh, nice little stuff there Look at that. We got the dinosaur dressed up as a ball player. Now that is something different. That's something you don't see every day. We got all the sports team themed lamps right there. Oh, you notice? Um, yeah. The St. Louis Cardinals aren't on here because uh, you know what? At this point... The team sucked. It was my hometown team, but they sucked. I remember going to a ball game around this time. Went to Bush Stadium, and uh, it was just me and my dad, and they just got their asses kicked so bad. I don't know which team they, but I, all I can remember is that it was like 18 and zero. <laughs> they lost. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're cheap. Well, it's just like customized, printed, 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 printed. All right, now we get to these couches. The couch from Roseanne. Nice little, oh, God, I think I remember there was one time uh, my parents went out and uh, got a real nice sectional like this from the store. It was really nice, but I think it wound up getting returned for some reason or another. Usually all the couches we had were like, throw away couches uh, someone was either giving away or whatever or it was like really cheap someone it was used couches i guess i'll just say that 
Oh God, these. Yep. The old classic. What are these? Action Lane. Action by Lane. And you got all the things you put all your collectibles in. I just buy a lot of these and just put soda cans and bottles in them. And they screw all this stuff right here. Stuff's boring. Fill up with cans of discontinued Pepsi. That's what I say. That's what I say. Now this is stuff that's like actually utility that could actually work well. Still cool to this day. Like even a mirror. Everyone always needs a mirror. That's actually a really good deal. Oh no, wait, not the hall tree. How much is this mirror? That's what I know. What what number is this? D? Cheval mirror. 170. Oh, that's too much money. That's oh, no wonder Sears went out of business. They priced themselves out of business. Broy Hill. Oh my god, that takes me back. Just that name alone. Broy Hill. We got the, the entertainment center. Uh, this dude's playing Super Nintendo. He's not looking at the TV at all. And what Mario video game is that? That isn't... Game Boy Power Pack. Okay, so this is a... It's He's playing Super Mario World, guys. But on the screen is a Game Boy... Mar it, it's a Mario... Game Boy Mario uh, game. That's, this is really bothering me. He's holding the controller wrong, too. You ever see those commercials for video games? And the person that... The actor that is apparently playing the video game isn't hitting the right control buttons and everything like how they should. It would, that would always bother me. It's like, if you're going to hire somebody to be in the commercial for video games, at least... You know, give them a little bit of an idea of how to play the game, even if they're not playing. Here is Father's study. You go in here to ask him all the hard questions. This is when I walked into the uh, study and asked my dad if I could borrow the car for the evening to take uh, Alyssa out to Taco Bell. He said, son, I'm very proud of you. You can go and take her to Taco Bell. I said, oh, thanks, Dad. Here we got a kitchen table with floor tile on top of it. I'm not going to say too much because I actually have a table just like this with tile on it. Makes cleanup very nice, though. Don't get me wrong. Unless it gets in the cracks and the grout, then it just stains. It's not a good thing. So many chairs like this are filling up landfills all across America. Oh, this is cool. 1950s style diner. That's actually pretty sweet. This whole area right here. All of this. It just, all I could hear is just crunch. There's nothing but wicker everywhere. Check this out, guys. Actually, it looks really nice. It's cool. What kind of chair is this? B. What, where is B here? Let's check it out. A through K. B is a rocker frame rocker cushion. Okay. Well, alrighty. Director's chair. Bean bags. There we go. There's Kevin McAllister's parents' uh, bed with the big pillars right there. bunk beds oh uh, yeah me and my brother we had bunk beds till i was about 
12 or 13. That's when I got my first room by myself. It's nice. Oh, I was about 15. Yeah, yeah. scratch that. Got mattresses, bed frames, okay. We got your set of dresser drawers. She's finishing finishing it herself. More pillows. This chair has a skirt. Oh yeah, the race car bed? Yeah, dude. I mean, you can say what you want about a race car bed, but I mean, I wanted one back in the day. I will say, you know, it's like I didn't get that race car bed, but I did get a water bed. And even by then, water beds were out of style because I think water beds were a thing in the 80s. And, um, but I remember in the late 90s, my mom went out and bought me and my brother water beds for ourselves. And we didn't have heat coming in through uh, our rooms very much. Like I had one vent in my room and it didn't do much of anything but the cool thing about a water bed is that there was a temperature gauge thing like you would have the water bed frame right it'd be this box and you could put this there was this pad you would put down before you put the water bed mattress in and fill it up with water and this pad uh, would get either hot or cold to the setting of the degrees you'd want to put it at. And, um, yeah, that, that waterbed felt so good when you'd set it to, like, 85, 90 degrees. That was about the highest it would go. It was, like, 90 degrees. And you're in a cold room, and you just, like, lay down in that bed. Oh, it felt so great. In the summertime, you could get it really cold, like, at 60 degrees, because, obviously, there wasn't... AC either if the heat was bad yeah there was no AC and uh, yeah that's how I uh, kept cool without AC or uh, stayed warm back then that water bed was a savior got all the chandeliers here you hang this hang this over your pool table and you have the boys over Ah, oh, this is sweet looking. That's badass looking right there. I'd get that to this day. I don't care if that's out of style or not. I would definitely get that. That's that's screaming my name. Fluorescent lighting up above there. That's pretty cool. I feel like I'm in Menards right now. Oh, uh, the motion. They even they had motion lights back then. Okay. I know I always remember my neighbors having motion lights. I can't recall when those became like a thing on the regular. Oh my God, look, look at this mess. Look at this loss. Beverly Hills Fan Company. Mondo Gecko flavor. Mondo Gecko ceiling fan. I know, man. It looks like an everlasting gobstopper from uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Just bite down on it and chew on it. All right. Now, we, we got to take a look at the brands they got here. They got Plus uh, 405, I think, up there in the top right corner. Uh, can't make it much else out. Got steel wardrobes. Mm-hmm. Hirsch. 
Got a nice Hirsch shelf, shelf. A little pantry area. God. And you got this cheap wood. So cheap looking. We got the stainless steel sinks. These are fine. These are like these are timeless sinks right here. You know, especially this one. This one's probably very convenient for certain things, but uh yeah, just get yourself a basic stainless steel sink. Get it as deep as you can and call it a day. Don't mess around with anything else. Got some exhaust fans. The air conditioner. Oh, wood panel. What is this? Yeah. Wood paneled air conditioner. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. Ah. Let's see what else we got here. This is portable air conditioners. That's pretty cool. How much were these going for? I'm sure they're pretty expensive. Yeah. 700. Yeah, pretty much. North of 600, 700 bucks. Yeah, they got a portable air cleaner. I bought one for like 80 bucks at Target. How much were they going for? 109. Yeah, about the same. Same as now. Now we got the furnace mount air cleaner. We got okay, okay. Some more air cleaners. There we go. We're talking about water heaters here. This guy's in 1994, but he's stuck in 1971. That outfit. Eesh. Eesh. Immersible well pumps. You got everything you need. The battery charger there. The sump pump. I had to put a sump pump in my house. It was, you know, something you would think is so simple when you work on your house and it turns into a job four times as more complex than it should be. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but it's always something, especially with this house. It's never easy. Jet pumps. Whole house water filter. Home security right here. Got motion sensors. Uh, okay, getting out of fire. Okay, cool. Where are we at? I say we're at an hour. I mean, never think that the job will be quick. Yes, oh, I've, I've learned the hard way, man. I mean, my first car was a 77 Caprice, classic Chevy. And I got that in 2003. So already it was on its last leg, but it was my first car. And yeah, every other week there'd be something some hunk of metal would go out on it and I'd have to go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto, figure it out, My replacing power steering. Yeah. We had that for our door at the old house. There you go. This looks like an awning for a uh, ice cream place. Oh, God, the house right across from me, this is what they had all above all of their windows, this exact thing. 
the green stripes and all. It just takes me back. It takes me back. I have shutters like this on my house still. <laughs> I need to repaint them because uh, the sun has kicked its ass quite a bit. But I don't know. It's either, okay, should I film a YouTube video of me drinking soda or go out and paint some of the things all around my house? I'm going to record a YouTube video. What will benefit the world more? You know, that's, that's the way I look at things. We got nice pool, pool furniture. We got the Breaking Bad swimming pool, Walter White swimming pool back there. could be fun watching it dry <laughs> painting the thing yeah I could probably do a how-to <laughs> video about that you know if, if I had the capabilities get a really nice camera to really do time-lapse it'd be cool just uh, filming grass grow like not even not even uh, making a joke there that actually be pretty cool but no, I'm just like, I haven't even raked my leaves outside, guys. I mean, really, truly, like, I do not care about, like, yes, I will do the bare essentials, mow the lawn, get the trash out of my lawn, pick up the sticks, it, you do all the bare things, but like, with the leaves, it's almost just like, uh, uh, I've raked leaves before, it's, it's not that hard to do, obviously I could do it, but... Like, do, do I really care that much? I really don't think so. Like, I know some of the older men in the neighborhood probably look at my lawn and think, What's that guy doing with himself? He ain't doing nothing. It's like, no, actually, you think about it. I've seen this. It's like, there's a lot of animals that thrive and need those leaves in your yard to, you know, still find food and shelter and stuff underneath all that so it's it's just like it's just an aesthetic you want your lawn to look the best on the block to impress who the neighbors you don't talk to it's like i i miss me with that i don't care i just remember in my neighborhood uh there would always be i think it'd be thursday every week uh my wife won't let me rake mine because of the animals. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even care that much about the animals or anything, but over time I'm just like, hey, if it actually is a benefit for the animals, that's a bigger excuse for me not to rake them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't use, I don't have a leaf blower, but I, I, all, all a man needs, if I, if I could tell a young kid how to rake leaves, all you need is a rake and a tarp. And in my na neighborhood, uh, there's this truck that comes around, I don't know, every two weeks or whatever. You just rake the leaves up to the side of the road, and they come by with the big sucking machine and suck them all up. And uh, uh, we had a pool like that. Very, very nice. No, maybe not like that. It was, it was more like a, just a steel wall kind of deal. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, you just need a rake and a tarp. Just take the tarp to a spot where you need a rake, rake all the leaves on the tarp, take the two sides of the tarp, drag it to the edge of the road, dump the leaves, repeat. And that's all, that's all you really need. And it's good cardio, you know, just put a podcast on or some music or whatever. You know, I, I kind of enjoy that. I, I enjoy yard work, but uh, as time is very, very of the essence, uh, as my life goes on, uh, you got to kind of use it at, to your advantage as to how you want to think. And it's like raking the leaves is at the very bottom of uh, my priorities as opposed to making videos and just doing thing that, stuff that's cool. Now that's a cool fish tank. Speaking of cool, that too, 
you'd find those at like Spencer's and everything. And I think back, I don't think uh, my dad even raked leaves that much. Like we did have quite a bit of leaves, but I don't recall we ever raking leaves. And oh yeah, going back to the story of my old neighborhood, like every Thursday, like everybody, it was like burn day and everybody could rake their leaves to the sides of the road and just burn all the leaves. So they just smell horrible like the whole rest of the week because everybody would be burning leaves and that just smell would just linger through the air all time, all day, all day, all day, dude. We got some chainsaws, Beavis and Butthead would love those. We got wood chippers. Everything a man needs. Speaking of yard work, we got the head trimmers. Oh, a head trimmer for 75 bucks? Nice. Probably would have cut out. Yeah, you'd probably want to get some of these though, right here. Hey, get yourself a nice weed whacker from Sears. <laughs> got lawnmowers. We got Mike Rowe here showing you how to cut at an angle. All the tools you need. Oh, look at that spread. Have I watched any of the new Beavis and Butthead? Yeah, I, I'm slowly making it way, making my way through season two of the the second season of the new stuff. I got, I got, I just got to say, I'm, I'm really not impressed. I mean, that that original series just hit home all the time, but the new stuff, it it, it does feel a bit watered down, and it's not as brutal as. Uh, or it's, it's not as witty. Like, I'm not looking for more outrageous and, like, more violence or whatever. But just, like, the, the details as to the old series just aren't there as much uh, with the new stuff. But, I mean, it does have its moments. Don't get me wrong. I liked the, the one episode that really sticks out of the new Beavis and Butthead that I really liked was the, um, the Farmer's Market with the uh, honey. And the boys uh, try to get the wasp nest and stuff. That That's a classic one. And uh, I think it comes down to the writers. There's a lot of new people writing the episodes. Uh, I know Christopher Brown, like he's an OG writer for the show. And he's uh, had his hand in a few of the episodes. And surprisingly enough, the episodes he has written for the new series is uh, are spot on and just as good as the old stuff. But... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I, I'd give it a 6 out of 10, as opposed to the original series, you know, obviously a 10 out of 10. All right, we're just, we're just kind of going through here. I mean, this is just tools. I know every, every Christmas, what I would get my dad would be always a set of tools, a set of socket wrenches, you know, maybe a, uh, I remember one year I got my dad some saw horses. They were on sale for Black Friday. Got him that for Christmas. He didn't have to use the homemade saw horses he made. Staple guns. Like the Mr. Anderson Swords. But my favorite episode of the old series is the invention. It's about the butt. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to watch. I'm trying to read all your messages here. But yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, there were so many great ones. I can't. I can't pick out one. Like everyone will obviously go to the Great Cornholio one, but I. I think the episodes, like the episodes on the last season of the original series, like so many of them were so good. And they definitely left on a high note uh, with those episodes. Like, The Future of Beavis and Butthead, Our Founding Fathers. I forgot what they named that one, but it was like Beavis and Butthead were in a room, and they went to sleep, and they daydreamed as being, like, in different scenarios. Like, Butthead, it was Paul Revere, I think. 
and uh, Beavis was in on the uh, signing of the Declaration of Independence. Like all of that, that episode was so great too. And just, yeah, they, they definitely left on a high note. And as much as I really did appreciate them coming back and more content, how do, yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I like it. I like the fact that there's more and they live on and everything and they're uh, somewhat relevant today. But I don't think they have that much of an impact as they did back then. But yeah, I remember the one I just laughed so hard on as a kid was couch fishing with the old lady with the box of prunes. All right, we got a shop vac. You could always need one of those 230 bucks. Are you kidding me? No, thank you. I could go to Harbor Freight and get one for like, I don't know, 70. No, that's, that's some, that's some knowledge I could give any young growing boy. It's going to need some tools. They're cheap, but go to Harbor Freight just to get yourself a nice set of everything you need. And then uh, work your way up from there. What is this? What we got here? This is uh, auto heat. Oh, okay. So that heats up the thing. Oh, the 80s legend Zelda cartoon. Dive. Oh, yeah, I have seen that. I saw that a while ago. That is great. Yeah, that that's that's one of those videos. It's like, that is... That is what YouTube is made for. Videos just for for that. You know. Stole. We got America's best selling top carrier. Oh, do I have a story for you guys about top carriers? I had to move some stuff across the country, let's say about 1,200 miles. And my car didn't have any bars here. Any roof rack. And uh, we definitely needed the space to haul all the stuff we needed. And there was no way we were going to get a U-Haul or anything else. And uh, my poor car, <laughs> it made it though. Our, my car was just packed to the gills, back seat, trunk, everything else. And I went to AutoZone and bought a uh, roof bag uh, for 80 bucks. And I was looking at like max capacity of what your car could hold. And we were definitely over the max capacity. But I tell you what, I just bought a roof bag and it comes with these straps. Yeah. You got to trust those seats, car struts. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, the bag was just packed full, driving through rain, everything else. But I'm proud to say we made it. Yeah, what, what was the fascination back then? I remember my neighbors having this. Sears, not seats. We got these... Uh, bras for cars i never understood that I, what was what was the deal with the wait hang on let's see it's front end protection polyester cotton breeze through a perforated it doesn't absorb moisture or dirt you could leave it on custom fit quick simplified i still don't get why those were a thing but definitely Oh, look at that and get that buck. 10 point buck right there. I think my mom actually had this in her truck on her bench seat. It was like this same color and design. Okay, if it seats, this pages weren't sticking. Oh yeah, look at that zebra. Got a car, NASCAR. What is this? We got some, what is this? Laser, okay. Car bras were garbage. They held all the dirt and debris, caused real bad scratches. Yeah, I'm. my dad never believed in it, but I remember seeing my neighbors across the street. They always had them. And, uh, oh, hey, 100.7. That was the old radio station's frequency I used to work at. 100.7. I also worked at a soft rock radio station. 104.7. Hello, everybody. 104.7. Playing all your soft, familiar favorites of yesterday and today. Now we've got Benny e. King. After that, we've got Savage Garden. After that is Air Supply. Die Hard Batteries. There we go. 
$69.99. Nice. Uh, there's some good stuff. I just saw it. All right, we got tires. We got swings. Tasco. Okay, what did I have? What swing set did I have? Can't recall what we had. Soft Rock, did anyone ever quest? Oh, yeah. No one had to request Chicago. It was always in the playlist. And I don't know if it... Uh, loaded in the computer at this point this is i'm talking about 2006 and uh yeah you could just look into the future and it'd be like one week monday this playlist then you just look to the next week monday's playlist would be different but the playlist from monday last week would be now on tuesday it, it would just be the same stuff it was oh god it was bad like program directors just didn't like try to mix it up or anything it would be like maybe once, like every two months, there'd be some, some new time uh, to uh, put in some new songs. Like, oh, maybe a, a new um, Michael Buble song is out. Put one whole song in there to mix up the playlist a little bit. Here we got this. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Things. I'm kind of running. It's, it's dinner time, boys and ladies. So uh, I'm gonna skip through here real quick. It's been a nice hefty 79 minutes here, but let's get to the good stuff before I head out. We got trampolines, very nice. Oh God, this guy's really enjoying himself. <laughs> Nikon cameras, computers. We got a Palm Pilot. Before it was a Palm Pilot, we got a Desk Pilot. Eat your dinner. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I need to, man. I need to. I just want to get to the good stuff. The good stuff would be in the back. Maybe I'll make like a video, a non-live video, and go over some of this stuff. That'd be cool, too, just to really go through it with a fine-tooth comb. this guy yeah badass little machines there all right yeah i can't believe we made it through this whole thing i was gonna th see if this was gonna be like a two-parter Wait, I saw something. Where was that? the game systems at? I missed them somewhere. Ah, there we are. There we are. Okay. We've got the Game Boy, Kirby's Dream Land. All the games. All the games, guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's good stuff. Super Nintendo for 100 bucks. Decent. Decent. Mario Paint. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to go have some dinner. Thank you guys for watching and uh, checking this fun time out with me. Uh, as we looked over the Sears 1993 Spring and Summer Annual Catalog, it's been a great time. Thank you guys uh, for checking in. The next live stream I'm going to do is going to be a classic live stream. So we have exhausted the Sears Catalog expeditions, at least for now. But, uh, yep, peace out. Scruffy Nerf Herder, you the man. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And for everyone else, thanks for tuning in. Until then, peace out and have a good night.